Hey there. I'm not sure if this started already, so here I am. Uh, we have been talking about this accepting and living a life that we have been given, the life that we currently have, and how difficult that can be because, you know, at a certain age or a certain time, we have these ideas about what our life will look like. And many of us might not hit those milestones or those moments. I, I know for myself, uh, when I first started pastoring, I had an idea of what the church would look like in five years, and in five years, it didn't reach that. And so I, I did go into a uh, depressed time and was finally able to pull myself out of it. But I was able to pull myself out because I realized that maybe that wasn't part of the plan. It was part of my plan, but maybe it wasn't part of God's plan. So, so what do we do when the life that we envision is not the life we are currently living? You know, we get depressed sometimes. We get sad. We can even get paralyzed and not be able to move. And that's where it starts getting uh, really challenging. And uh, when those moments happen, unless we can figure out uh, other ways to deal with it, we will not be able to move forward. Some of us self-medicate, drugs, substance abuse. Some of us, you know, we, we make our calendar so full and so busy that uh, we don't have time to, to feel or even look around and think about what life really is about right now. We avoid how we feel. We isolate ourselves. All of these things we do because we feel like we're not living the life that we were meant to live when perhaps we need to get a different perspective. One of the things I talked about in an early reflection, sometimes we just got to stop and think, you know, maybe where I am is where I'm supposed to be. As long as we are in uh, the will of God and all that we do, life still can continue on, maybe just not in the way that we thought it would. God continues to be there and God continues to watch over us and God continues to take care of us. And so, yeah, your life might not, you, maybe at the age of 30, you want to be married and, and have kids and, you know, um, a car, good job, all those things. And yet, when you turn 30, maybe you were living in a, a one-bedroom apartment, not many friends in the middle of nowhere because you followed your dream of your job. Or maybe you got caught up with people and ended up uh, on another road. Either way... As long as you still have God in your life, God can turn all of that around and take something that's not good and make it something beautiful. I love the, the, the saying in uh, Harry Potter uh, that you can take something that's ordinary and make it extraordinary. Um, and so that's where we can go. We just have to remember that as a child of God, we, and I, I'm talking to myself about this, our lives might not look like what we want it to look like, but maybe it's looking like exactly the way God wants it to look. And that's where faith and trust in God comes in. And no matter what happens, God has our back. John 15, verse 4. Abide in me as I abide in you. Just as the branch cannot bear fruit by itself unless it abides in the vine, neither can you unless you abide in me. As long as we abide in God and God abides in us, we'll be fine. Yeah, we have our hard times. We have our painful moments. We've been having challenging times. And sometimes we feel like God doesn't hear us or God doesn't care. But as long as we remain faithful to God, God will remain faithful to us. Faithful to you and faithful to me. So I hope you've enjoyed this reflection. Hopefully something I've said uh, will help you on your journey. And join me again uh, for the next reflection as we continue to uh, deal with living with the life that we have. Take care. God bless.